Hello friends, welcome to this YouTube channel. Today we shall solve a couple of simple numerical problems on three phase induction motors. By solving these problems, we shall learn how to determine sleep, speed, frequency of rotor induced EMF, etc. of a three phase induction motor. Let us have a look at the equations we shall need today to solve the numerical problems. Here we can see four pole state structure of a three phase induction motor. When three phase AC excitation is applied to the stator, it produces a magnetic field which rotates at synchronous speed. NS equals to 120 F by P, where F is the supply frequency, P is the number of poles of this machine. When rotor is placed in this magnetic field, rotor conductors will experience a time varying magnetic field. Therefore, EMF will be induced in the rotor conductors. Rotor conductors are short circuited, therefore current flows through them. And magnetic field is set up due to rotor current. Due to interaction between stator and rotor magnetic fields, rotor starts rotating. The difference between the synchronous speed and the actual rotor speed is called slip speed that is equal to Ns minus Nr where Nr is the rotor speed. When slip speed is expressed as fraction of synchronous speed it is called per unit slip or fractional slip or simply slip. S equals to Ns minus Nr divided by Ns. When we multiply slip with 100, we get percentage slip. The frequency of rotor induced EMF, Fr equals to P by 120 into relative speed. That is equal to P by 120 into Ns minus Nr. This may be written as P Ns by 120 into Ns minus Nr divided by Ns. That is equal to S times F. Therefore, rotor frequency has a very small value and we can neglect rotor iron loss. Problem number 1. A three-phase four-pole 50 hard induction motor is running at 1455 rpm. We have to determine the slip speed and slip. Let us first jot down the given data. Supply frequency F equals to 50 hard. Number of poles P equals to 4. Rotor speed Nr equals to 1455 rpm. Let us calculate synchronous speed. Ns equals to 120 F by P. Putting values we get 120 into 50 divided by 4. That is equal to 1500 rpm. Slip speed Ns minus Nr equals to 1500 minus 1455 that gives us 45 rpm. Slip S equals to Ns minus Nr divided by Ns. Using values we get 45 divided by 1500 that gives us 3%. Problem number 2. If the electromotive force in the stator of an 8-pole three-phase induction motor has a frequency of 
50 Hz and that in the rotor is 1.5 Hz, we have to determine the speed at which the motor is running. We also have to determine the slip. Let us first jot down the given data. Number of poles P equals to 8. Stator EMF frequency F equals to 50 Hz. Rotor frequency FR equals to 1.5 Hz. Let us first calculate synchronous speed. NS equals to 120 F by P. Putting values we get 120 into 50 divided by 8 that gives us 750 RPM. Now we shall calculate slip. S equals to FR by F that is equal to 1.5 divided by 50 that gives us 0.03 or 3%. Speed of induction motor NR equals to NS into 1 minus S. Using values we get 750 into 1 minus 0 0.03 that gives us 727.5 RPM. Problem number 3. An 8 pole alternator runs at 750 RPM and supplies power to a 6 pole induction motor which runs at 970 rpm. We have to determine the slip of the induction motor. Let us first write down the given data. Number of poles of the alternator PA equals to 8. Number of poles of the induction motor PM equals to 6. Speed of alternator NA equals to 750 RPM. Speed of induction motor NR equals to 970 RPM. Let us first calculate frequency of generated EMF. F equals to PA into NA divided by 120. Using values we get 8 into 750 divided by 120. That gives us 50 Hz. Synchronous speed of induction motor NS equals to 120 F by PM. That is equal to 120 into 50 divided by 6. That gives us 1000 RPM. Now we shall calculate slip of induction motor. S equals to NS minus NR divided by NS. Using values we get 1000 minus 970 divided by 1000. That gives us 0 0.03 or 3%. Problem number 4. A three-phase induction motor is owned for four poles and is supplied from three-phase 50 Hz system. We have to determine synchronous speed, speed of motor when slip is 0 0.04 and rotor frequency when motor runs at 600 rpm. Let us first write down the given data. Supply frequency F equals to 50 Hz. Number of poles P equals to 4. Slip S1 equals to 0 0.04. Rotor speed NR equals to 600 RPM. Let us first calculate synchronous speed. NS equals to 120F by P. Using values we get 120 into 50 divided by 4. That gives us 
1500 rpm speed of motor when sleep is 0.04 n1 equals to ns into 1 minus s1 using values we get 1500 into 1 minus 0.04 that gives us 1440 rpm when motor runs at 600 rpm sleep s equals to ns minus nr divided by ns using values we get 1500 minus 600 divided by 1500 that gives us 0 0.6 rotor frequency when motor runs at 600 rpm fr equals to s times f using values we get 0 0.6 into 50 that gives us 30 hertz problem number 5 a three phase six pole 50 hertz induction motor has a sleep of 1% at no load and 3% at full load. We have to determine synchronous speed, no load speed, full load speed, frequency of rotor current at full load and frequency of rotor current at standstill condition. Let us first jot down the given data. Supply frequency F equals to 50 Hz. Number of poles P equals to 6. Sleep at no load S0 equals to 1% that is equal to 0 0.01. Sleep at full load SFL equals to 3% that is equal to 0 0.03. Let us first calculate synchronous speed. NS equals to 120 F by P. Using values we get 120 into 50 divided by 6. That gives us 1000 RPM. No load speed N0 equals to Ns into 1 minus S0. Using values we get 1000 into 1 minus 0 0.01 that gives us 990 rpm. Full load speed NFL equals to Ns into 1 minus SFL that is equal to 1000 into 1 minus 0 0.03 that gives us 970 rpm. Let us now calculate frequency of rotor current at full load fr equals to s times f that is equal to 0 0.03 into 50 that gives us 1.5 hertz. Frequency of rotor current at standstill condition FR equals to S times F that is equal to 1 into 50 equals to 50 Hz because at standstill condition sleep S equals to 1. Problem number 6. A three phase 50 Hz induction motor has a full load speed of 1440 rpm. We have to determine slip, number of poles, frequency of rotor induced EMF, speed of rotor field with respect to rotor structure and speed of rotor field with respect to stator field. Let us first jot down the given data. Supply frequency F equals to 50 hertz. Full load speed NFL equals to 1440 rpm. Let us first calculate number of poles of this motor. P 
P equals to 120 F by NFL. That is equal to 120 into 50 divided by 1440. That is approximately equal to 4. Synchronous speed NS equals to 120 F by P. Using values we get 120 into 50 divided by 4. That gives us 1500 RPM. That is the speed of rotor magnetic field as well. Slip S equals to NS minus NR divided by NS. Using values we get 1500 minus 1440 divided by 1500. That is equal to 0 0.04 or 4 percent. Frequency of rotor induced EMF FR equals to S times F. That is equal to 0 0.04 into 50. That gives us 2 hertz. Speed of rotor field with respect to rotor structure equals to NS minus NFL. That is equal to 1500 minus 1440. That gives us 60 RPM. Speed of rotor field with respect to stator field equals to NS minus NS. That is equal to 1500 minus 1500 that gives us 0 RPM. So today we have solved a couple of simple numerical problems on three phase induction motors. We have learned how to determine slip, speed, frequency of rotor induced EMF etc. of a three phase induction motor. Hope this lecture has been useful for you. If you have any suggestion or question, please drop it in the comment section below. If you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thank you.